What's going on folks? Welcome back to the Ogano Art Family. And today we're going to be talking about artistic styles and why artists should also develop their technical skills as well. There are uh, artists that particularly want to um, try out the, uh, the shonen manga style, for example. It is a lot more complex with its technical skills in terms of your anatomy, proportions, and whatnot. So what I see is that, you know, a lot of the beginning artists, they focus purely on trying to find their style instead of actually developing the technical skills of the uh, shonen artwork, the shonen style. And uh, within the, uh, the shonen manga, there are many different styles within the shonen genre. It's like styleception, you know. Although the shonen genre is complex, there are still different styles of complexity within that, that genre. So, in the beginning, like, this goes towards beginning artists that are interested in partaking in shonen style. And not artists that like to try out, like, a, a much more simpler style for their own personal uh, projects. So, like, let's just say, like, a simple style, like, a the adventure time cartoons or so you know it's pretty simplistic there's not it's not a very complex style but at the same time there's nothing wrong with you know doing something simple you know because there's really no hierarchy when it comes to this you know there's no style that is better than the other because it doesn't work that way it's it's just a difference between simplistic styles and uh simplistic and complex styles and complexity doesn't always mean better and so uh, if we were to take a realistic manga like berserk and style like and a style like one piece you know the although, although both styles are complex their um berserk is a lot more realistic in its style so you know in terms of their story and their styles their story tends to match the style that the uh that the uh the artwork is portraying you know i personally don't feel a like a like a a realistic berserk style artwork would fit with one piece fun loving and adventurous story and vice versa for berserk if berserk were to get a one piece style artwork it wouldn't feel as uh dark and intense as berserk is and again although the uh the one piece style is a, a lot simpler to berserk it's also equally you know complex due to its advanced technical skills within the art so you know it has the technical skills in terms of you know you know the basic rules of anatomy the positioning of the fingers understanding the arm the torso muscles etc all that stuff the different camera angles where to place those yeah, where to place the camera angles, all that, you know, the uh, advanced inking, it has the uh, the technical skills there, so it's not exactly a, a bad thing, or it's not a good thing, you know, it's just uh, an artist's choice of style to fit the story, and so if you're looking to dive into the more technical aspects, more complex uh, styles, it doesn't have to be shown, it can be other complex, you know, styles from uh eastern comics and whatnot you know i would say just to develop the technical skills as you know and, and as you develop your technical skills you'll eventually you know come across your own style and if you don't come across your own style and it's not innately built in you you can also customize your own style by you know learning from different uh comics that you read, you know, taking comics, learning from um, different comic artists and manga artists of uh, their styles, see the uh, the things that you admire in their comic and pick different things from them to blend and create your own style. So it'll be exactly like customizing your own character as if you were playing an MMO, you know. So. Yeah, I'd say to practice the, again, the logical side, the logical side of the art, the technical side, you know, anatomy, skeletons, muscles, etc. And eventually, once you learn this stuff, you can, you know, branch out. You can, you know, start breaking some, some rules, you know. Because when you master it, and then you start to break the rules, and you have... 
And as you're breaking the rules, you still have control of how your artwork is going with, you know, your previous knowledge of, you know, the mastery of the subject. Then you can create some pretty interesting artwork that will have people gravitate towards your own style. So, yeah. But I didn't follow that advice. You know, I was learning as I was drawing page by page. Yeah, page by page while implementing my style. And at the same time, I was also incorporating the uh, some technical aspects that, of what I was learning. So I wasn't making some other manga to experiment with my uh, with my skills or anything like that. I was just staying with the, the main series. So, you know, at this moment, I know about like around uh, 70... 5% of anatomy at the moment you know I'm not at a hundred yet I'm not at a hundred percent yet but I plan on making another monotot in which I can practice more before I continue my main series Oska so because I am going to be teaching the anatomy of various things on this channel I believe it's best that I get to 100% and know what I'm doing before I you know, before I teach here, yeah, before I teach on this channel, and yeah, that will be the video. You people are awesome from watching. Feel free to join the family by clicking that subscribe button and express your thoughts with a comment. And yeah, peace out. Peace out.